How y'all doing? Oh, so gold here, and I've been reflecting on streaking today. Some of you don't remember streaking, but back in the 70s. In fact, the fall of 1973, college campuses all over the country experienced a phenomenon where people were taking their clothes off and running around campus. Well, that phenomenon spread into small communities and towns, and suddenly everyone in 1974, right, they were streaking. Go figure, you know, just taking your clothes off because in, in this country we have what's called freedom of speech and people were finding ways to express themselves by being nude. It was really, really something. I had some friends in Pine Bluff, Arkansas who were streaking down on Cherry Street one night. Cherry Street was this main drag that was uh, where all the kids hung out 24-7. You know, they drive up and down the street and just hang out. Well, they, they started running up and down the street uh, with their clothes off. Well, my two buddies went down there one night, and they had sombreros on. And here they are streaking up and down the street, and the cops got after them. They got in their car and got away. But you know what they did? They went to the local radio station, a real popular station that played all the pop hits, and they walked in nude wearing those sombreros. And the owner of the station was sitting there, he was flipping the, you know, the, the records, and he interviewed them on the air. You know, here they are sitting there nude with their sombreros on. He said, boys, what, why are y'all doing that? And one of them said, well, freedom of speech, and we're having a good time. Well, they stayed there for a little while and were actually interviewed on that radio, but they didn't stay around too long because they saw one of the staff members picking up the phone, and they assumed that the police were being called, so they got out of there. Nothing ever came of it, but, you know, the, I thought that was pretty b bizarre. And, you know, thinking about college campuses, now Otho's going to have to share something with you because he got caught up in all this phenomenon. I'm going to step outside for just one moment here. Now, I was visiting friends on the campus of the University of Arkansas back in 1974. And I tell you, we went down to Maple Street one night. Now, Maple Street is what's sometimes called Sorority Row. Had all these big sorority houses lining the, the, the street. But thousands of people would turn out at night. And they would make two long lines that were separated by about a three or four foot space. And that's where people were actually running up and down. And you, people had their cameras and they were hooping and hollering, woo! Woo! Just having a good time out there, waiting on someone to come running down between those two lines naked. You, you'd see them from time to time, about every five or ten minutes, someone would go, woo, just streaking along. Of course, their bodies were a blur, they were running so fast. And at the same time, you know, people are slapping them on the butt. Well, I tell, Otho got caught up in all that excitement because that looked thrilling to me. So I took an opportunity to put some red, white, and blue streamers on my elbows and my ankles. And I got down at the end of one of those lines and I took my clothes off and I took off running just as fast as I could. Woo! Just a hooping and hollering. And people were slapping my butt as I was running along and I, that just made me run even faster. But that was, that was thrilling. You know, that's as close to being a rock star as a person can be without having to do anything but run. It was really amazing. Anyway, I, I did my little thing down that line and my butt was sore for days. So many, I don't know why people felt, or felt like they had to get in on the action by reaching out and slapping me. But that was just a moment in time. People don't do that kind of stuff anymore, as you know. They'll lock you up, put you in, in but they'll throw you under the jail is what they'll do. But it seemed to be tolerated uh, for a moment in time. Boy, it sure is fun to reflect, look back on what we did uh, back in the day. Yeah. That's my thought for the day about streaking. Hope you all have a great one. Take care.